I forgot my huge fly fisherman koozie. Available at hugeflyfisherman.com. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Today we're going to be talking about hook sets. Like how do you set the hook on a fish? Most of the time when a fish eats your fly, it's not going to hook itself and you have to set the hook. There are a few different ways to do that, so let's go over. Let's start with a good old trout set. This is what a lot of us use as our go-to hook set. I did for a long time also, and I probably still do. Basically, you're just going to raise your arm up like this in a quick, sharp motion. There's no follow through. You're gonna raise your arm up and stop. Think about it like answering the phone, brushing your hair, being the Statue of Liberty. You wanna set the hook hard enough so that you get good hook penetration, but not so hard that you break the fly off. How hard you can set the hook depends on how thick your tip it is. Be aware of how much slack you have. If you don't have enough slack, you're not gonna be able to raise your rod high enough. If you have too much slack, you can move your arm as far back as you want, but it's not gonna put any tension on the line and set the hook. If you consistently have too much slack in your line and you're not able to get a hook set, you can buy a Huge Fly Fisherman arm extension. They're available at hugeflyfisherman.com along with hats and shirts and stuff. So once you get the motion down, timing is really the critical thing. Generally in trout fishing, you wanna set the hook as quickly as possible. Trout will usually eat the fly and then spit it out right away once they know it's not real. If a trout is very large and has a big mouth or takes a fly very slowly, you can hesitate. But you're gonna have to feel that out as you go. You don't catch big fish anyway, so don't worry about it. Only I do. So that's a basic trout set. Now let's move on to a nymph set, which is really just a trout set that you use when you're nymphing. The most important thing to do when you're nymph setting is to set the hook in the direction of the drift usually downstream. If you set the hook upstream, you're gonna pull your fly right out of the fish's mouth. That ain't gonna work. A sideways hook set works pretty well. So a nymph set is really just a sideways trout set. A trout set is usually straight up in the air. Quick note, if you're nymphing and your flies are downstream of you, it's gonna be difficult to hook the fish. You can do it, but it's way tougher to hook them when they're below you. All right, let's move on to the strip set. If you're a trout guy, this might be tough to get the hang of at first. The hard part isn't the technique of the strip set, but it's your reaction and your awareness and the self-control to not trout set. That's the hard part. Took me years. So for a strip set, you're not gonna have very much slack in your line to begin with. So all you gotta do is keep your rod tip low and then pull back on the line with your line hand in a sharp, quick motion. Stab the fish in the face with the fly. That's the goal here. I want you to understand why you should use a strip set instead of a trout set? Well, there are two reasons. One is that if you miss the fish, the fly's still going to be in the zone. You're only going to move it a couple feet and the fish should still be able to find it. The second reason is that it gives you a really good connection with the fly. You can put all of your energy into setting the hook into the fish's mouth rather than bending the fly rod. A straight connection to the fly without bending the rod equals more pressure on the fish. But a strip set doesn't move a lot of line, which is why when you're trout fishing, you would generally use a trout set because you have slack in your line and you need to move a lot of line to set the hook. Does that make sense? Strip setting is used when you're fishing streamers, flats fishing, top water for bass, stuff like that. Also carp. Strip setting is usually done with bigger tippets so you can really jack the fish and drive that fly home. You don't want to be breaking fish off on the hook set. Like if you fish a straight 60 pound leader for tarpon, you don't have to worry about breaking the fish off on the hook set. But you don't fish straight 60 for tarpon because you're not a chump, right? So once you make a good strip set, then you can bend the rod, clear the line, and start fighting the fish like normal. So those are three basic types of hook sets, the trout set, the nymph set, and the strip set. But there's one other thing I want to talk about. The non-committal hook set. The halfway hook set. It looks like this. Or this. You're not really sure if the fish is eating the fly. Maybe I should set the hook. Maybe I shouldn't. You've probably done that before. Well, don't feel bad because I do it too. We need to stop doing that. Either set the hook or don't. There is no in-between. But if you don't set the hook at all, you're probably not going to catch any fish. 
You hear what I'm saying? Hook that they're free. So that's the end of today's huge fly fisherman video. I hope you learned a little bit about setting the hook and you can take that out on the water and catch some fish. Thanks as always for watching another one of my videos. I post a new video every Monday. Check out that website I mentioned, hugeflyfisherman.com. You can buy some merch to support the channel and it allows me to keep making these videos. I got one more cheesy joke for you. Go ahead and set the hook on that like button and stay huge. I am fattened out of shape.